I have a girlfriend, and uh, we, uh, we get brunch. I've never done this brunch thing. Man, this is fun. I like it. Deconstructing Pop-Tarts and shit. I'm in. I'm in. I order, then I get real high, then I come back, and I'm like, this is fabulous. This is amazing. I go, get the chef and bring him over here. This is amazing. I love it. What we do... You get it. Uh, <laughs> who's that drunk ant in the back fucking shit up? Fuck yeah. Drunk ant, you're fucking crazy, I like you. Yeah. You probably like jerked off 85 bears back in the day, I like you. You probably got some, some good fucking stories. I know Mike Singletary. Anyway. We go get brunch, and then we go to the sex toy shop. It's my favorite one-two punch, you know? You guys ever go to the sex toy shop together? All the time, fuck yeah. Don't be afraid of that stuff, right? We just bought a sex swing, me and my old lady, right? It's great. It's just sitting there. When we first got it, we used it all the time, right? Every day, I was like, get in that sex swing. But now it's like, eh, like I throw my pants on it when I get home, it's like, eh. <laughs> I'm afraid someday she'll break up with me and I'll just be sitting in the sex swing like, where did it all go wrong? <laughs> I play fucking Call of Duty in the sex swing. Eh, maybe this is why, I don't know. But I know I'm immature because when we go to the sex toy shop, I always grab the biggest floppiest dildo and I, I nunchuck it around, right? And I know that's immature, but I don't care, right? I'm just like, <laughs> and I throw it over my shoulder and I just walk around. Like a, like a hot shot cop walking the beat, you know what I mean? The other day I looked down and on the, on the, the side of the dildo or the shaft, if you will, um, it said made in the USA and I had a sense of pride in this country I hadn't had in a long time, you know what I mean? I was like, yeah, America! We're really doing things, you know? Then I imagine in my head there's some like dildo warehouse in like Memphis, Tennessee, you know what I mean? And, there's some guy there who's like, God damn, when the mills closed down, we thought this town was gonna go belly up, but <laughs> well shit, this dildo factory done saved the day. And we take pride in our work here. Yes, we do. We make dildos for the American woman or man. <laughs> Learned that in the seminar. Uh, we're proud of what we do. Then NPR hears about it and they do a story, you know? It's like, there's a small dildo manufacturer in Memphis, Tennessee that's making America come again. And that's, that's cool. When I have the dildo, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of walking around a little bit. I let my girlfriend walk around and she talks to the, the people that work there. And what I'm hoping for, this is like my dream. This would be my dream come true. If a guy comes in with a gun and he's like, give me all your money, right? And then I come out from the shadows and I'm just like, oh, you picked the wrong pleasure chest to fuck with, right? And then I knock him out with the dildo. The cops hear about it, they're like, you're a hero, you know what I mean? And then they tell the newspaper, and then, the next thing you know, I'm on the front page of the Tribune holding like the double-sided dildo, and the headline is just like, local hero isn't toying around with crime, you know? 